Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Southern French White, take two. Yeah, my batteries ran out when I was halfway through filming this, uh, so uh, that's why there's a little bit gone from each of the bottles, but um, hey, that was five minutes ago, and here it is now. Um, so, um, uh, they're not particularly prestigious for, um, Southern French Whites. Uh, let's just give them a whirl. First one, Cote Mass uh, from the Paul Mass Winery, uh, 2012, Blanc Méditerranée. And um, uh, grapes here, Grenache, uh, Vermentino, a little bit of Chardonnay and Sauvignon in there too. It smells rounded and peachy, but with a floral, um, slightly honey, honeysuckle. Uh, and uh, I think there's a little bit of that pine resin from Herm Vermentino uh, that's kicking in here. Uh, it feels like it's going to be not, not especially complex, but um, let's see how satisfying a drink it is. And it's a nice balance between that... Um, uh, the flesh of the Grenache Blanc and that um, that resiny backbone, if you want to call it that, of, uh, of, of the Vermentino. Not quite sure what the Chardonnay and the Sauvignon are bringing to the party, but um, um, I, if anything, I would have maybe preferred a little bit more of the Vermentino, but uh, I like my backbone in my wines. Uh, I, I know a lot of people who actually prefer it the other way around, and they would have liked more of the fleshier, peachier Grenache Blanc. Uh, but what I call fair enough wine and um, nice start. Wine number two, Chateau, uh, Chartres de Mougère, 2012, Le Pellerin, uh, Pays de Coup. Uh, let's give this a whirl. Well, it's got some of the peachiness um, of the previous one. Uh, maybe it doesn't have that um, slight uh, resiny herb character of the Vermentino. Uh, still got some of that honey, honeysuckle character, though, that floral edge going on. That slightly... Um, what I call peach yoghurt. There's a difference between the flavour that you get from peaches that are fresh peaches and the peach that you get when you're having a peach yoghurt. I get that peach yoghurt or yoghurt if you're Australian um, that um, uh, that comes through. Um, what's good about it is yes there's the peachiness but um, I think it's just 12 and a half, 12 alcohol, 12 and a half percent alcohol. Um, uh, you, it, 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 I think they've picked it just at the right time to stop it going too lardy and um, so there is a little bit of um, uh, finesse about the wine. Maybe the first one I'd be on with um, uh, lighter seafood. This one feels big enough to cope with monkfish and uh, maybe even fish and chips. I'd, uh, well, I'd like to try it with either or, or both of those. Um, final two wines are from Domaine Castin, um, both 2012, um, and under the Savignus, that's the brand, brand name, nothing to do with Sauvignon Blanc. First one is a 2012 Muscat Sec. And um, there's some Muscats that uh, just leap out of the glass and say grapes. This, um, if it's, it's weird because the, the smell here is what I associate with sweeter Muscats, uh, barley sugar. Um, and uh, so um, it says Muscat Sec, so um, I, I don't know whether there's, uh, they're pushing the idea of Sec to uh, uh, an extreme and having a little bit of residual in there. But um, uh, yes, it smells more on that, that, that slightly uh, rounder, fleshier style of, um, of sweet Muscat, even though it's only 12.5% alcohol. Anyway, let's Let's, let's taste it. And there's some of that dry grapiness of, of uh, Muscat Sec, but it's this barley sugar character that um, uh, that dominates it. Maybe I would have preferred a little bit more of those um, tighter uh, Muscat flavours that you get in, in Alsace, that, that more minerally um, soil related uh, edge. But here, it's fair enough summer wine. Huh. It's nearly November here and uh, uh, maybe this isn't the sort of wine to chill and sit outside in this type of weather, but um, decent drink, decent enough drink. Try the final one, uh, which is uh, same winery, same vintage, same brand name, but 2012 Viognier. Give this one a whirl. Now they've managed to get some of the peach kernel, uh, that slightly heady, um, musky vanilla edge of peach kernel um, in, into uh, the aromas here. Uh, maybe it's not going to be the most complex of wine, but it feels like they've um, it's authentic Viognier, not picked too early. Sometimes if you pick it too early to try and get it fresh, you miss out on those um, more exotic aromas. They've, it feels like they've got a bit of them here. Maybe I could do with a little bit more, but better taste it. Good, ripe, juicy, rounded. Um, 
and uh, as I said I tasted them uh, uh, previously before my camera battery ran out and um, what I notice about it now compared with uh, 10 minutes ago um, it feels to put on a little bit of weight I was slightly concerned that uh, it was it was just uh, it had the aromas but maybe not the um, uh, the the palate weight to uh, uh, to flesh out those aromas but uh, it seems to have seems to have got uh, got a little bit more corpulent in the last uh, last few minutes and uh, I'm liking it more and more. Uh, I, I still, I, I, it lacks that exotic headiness of Great Viognier, but it also lacks the price tag of the uh, those exotic heady uh, Viogniers. I think that's um, probably my favourite of the bunch. Um, the Mass was Mass was probably my second favourite. They were all okay. Um, none that I, I would be rushing out and uh, grabbing all the bottles off the shelf, but uh, uh, none which, if I were poured a second glass, I would refuse. Maybe a third glass would be pushing it, but um, uh, small glasses, you understand, but, um, but a decent quartet. See you soon.